Nathan's girl alongside the bearded Super Bowl champion Matt Wilhelm getting ready for the Browns and the Ravens who come to town 7-6 and six in control of their own destiny for the playoffs. Pretty favorable schedule. They want to make sure they get this one on Sunday at First Energy Stadium, but for the Browns, the last opportunity to get a win in front of the home crowd. It is, and of course, they're coming off that disappointing loss Sunday night to the Steelers on that last second kick, but you look at the Ravens, and what was really odd for me in watching that game against the Steelers was their ability to score points. That was something they could not do very well and haven't done all season long. They've relied on their great defense. Their defense gave up points, but it's Alex Collins, the running back. He's the guy really become their mainstay in the run game, and I think as the weather gets worse, as it probably will be on Sunday at First Energy Stadium, relying on the run and strategic passes with Joe Flacco is a lot of what the Ravens do, so we're getting a lot of the same. Absolutely. Alex Collins scored a touchdown in four straight games. They got Danny Woodhead back a couple weeks ago. He's helped extend some drives for them in the short passing game, but you're right. It hasn't been the offense. It's been the defense of the Ravens, specifically their excellent pass defense led by another guy with a beard, your former teammate Eric Weddle from the Chargers. Now with the Ravens, five interceptions this year, third in the NFL. It is very interesting. You know, Weddle is a guy that just kind of roams back there. Not necessarily the angel of the defense, but he's back there roaming, helping out some of these corners. And I think that you look at Marlon Humphrey, a rookie who's come in in place of Jimmy Smith, who's since been hurt and suspended, to really make way for these guys to, to if they make a mistake, that they know the free agent they signed, Tony Jefferson, and Eric Weddle, as they signed a year ago, are going to make those plays on the back end. Yeah, the Ravens lead the NFL with 20 interceptions this season. Weddle himself has an interception in his last three games against the Cleveland Browns. And since week seven, they've allowed only five passing touchdowns with 11 interceptions in that span. And a receiver, by the way, has not scored against them in four straight games. So this is a tough matchup for the Browns. This is, this is one where you walk and go, oh, here's the easy path right. to victory. If we just do this like you saw last week with Green Bay, it's going to be tough. The Browns are only going to win if this is a very low scoring game. It is, and I, and I would actually put this game on our offensive line, because I think our ability to run the football and our ability to protect Deshaun Kaiser, because we have more playmakers than we've had all year long. Absolutely. Look, win the turnover battle. The Browns haven't done that all year, and maybe you have a chance to steal one from the Ravens. Once again, it's a playoff team, playoff game for the opponent of the Browns, and the Browns can play the role of spoiler. Let's see if they do that on Sunday at First Energy Stadium. For the latest on this game and the Browns, keep it tuned to cleanbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app.